I have been struggling to figure out what to paint. So today I went into my floral inspiration books and was leafing through them for a bit until I found this one. So we are going to paint this um, all white floral, although I'm going to be using um, other colors as well. I have just been really struggling to find inspiration in my life, in the busyness of life and everything. It's just been really hard for me to get to the painting table. I hope this encourages you guys to set aside whatever you're doing and just take the time for the thing that lights you up. So to start out with, I'm using my um, Fabriano hot press paper and I my new watercolor palette that I filled recently and um, I'm also going to be using probably a variety of brushes I haven't even thought this through about which brushes I'm going to use so I'm gonna use my size 8 Princeton velvet touch maybe a size 4 velvet touch and I am looking for a size 6, but I'm not sure if I have it here. Um, this is my 6 Golden Naturals. This one is a pretty old one, so I don't think I'm going to use that one. Alright, let's get started with these. Three, maybe four brushes. I need to grab some water. So, to begin with, I'm going to fill my water cup, and I'm actually going to wet down my paints with my little spray bottle, and let's see here, I'm going to paint in a landscape, let's see if I can get it to fit on the screen here, yeah, there we go, okay, so, landscape mode, I'm going to use my size Eight, first of all and I am going to do kind of some blush colored florals instead of the white if you remember from the pictures they were all white so I'm mixing some permanent rose with some burnt umber to get this like blush mauvey color and I'm gonna start with the big floral in the middle I'm going to start with um, this big floral here and then I'm going to work towards the sides and I will hopefully be able to put a reference photo um, in the video as well so you can follow along as I'm painting. But um, I have this laying to the left of me, it's too big to fit in my frame on my camera, but I'm going to give it a whirl. So starting with the big magnolia in the center, towards the center-ish. And I'm just making some circular round C shapes for the petals. And something with painting is um, in between always looks like how in the world is this going to turn out into a beautiful painting but I think the end paintings always look like it was planned all along. I'm going to take a little bit of um, yellow ochre and add that into my leaves a little bit just to add some color variation Grab my paper towel here. Alright, I'm going to let that dry a little bit, then I'm going to come back in and maybe add some darks to it. And I'm going to move on to the little roses at the side. Actually, maybe, actually instead of the roses, I'm going to put in the big green leaves first. So we're going to get sap green. Um, I wish I would have mixed it over here, so I'm going to remix that. Alright, sap green, 
some burnt umber, some lamp black, get this deep rich green. This is probably my favorite most used green is those three colors mixed together. So the reason I switched to wanting to paint the leaves first is because so that I can add in the um, the bowl the bowl that it's in. So this will give me a little bit of an idea of how to work in the bowl. This one leaf is quite a bit more brown than the others, so I'm just going to take some of this and go like this. I'm trying to be loose with my hand. I, I just need to take a breath and let my mind be free because that's what painting does for me. Now I'm gonna add in the, um, the bowl. That's mostly gonna be brown. I'm gonna take some burnt umber, add a little bit of lamp black, get a deeper brown. I'm gonna water down my brush quite a bit. So I'm gonna dip it in my water, tap it at the side of my cup to get most of the paint out. And that's kind of a U-shaped underneath all these leaves. I need to go a little bit bigger, smaller, I'm not sure. Not perfect, but I like it. Grabbing a little bit more paint on my brush. I'm gonna put some more on this right side. a little bit to get some of that paint off. Try again. All right, it is what it is, but it's all good. Um, more paint here at the top. Okay. Okay, I kind of like that. All right, so moving on to the little roses that go here and here. Let's see if I'm going to make those super light pink. So adding quite a bit of water to my palette. All right, let's see here. Might be a little difficult to see these on camera. This one's a little upside down rose. And another one up here. And I'm gonna go to the left here and put some on the left hand side as well. The farther back you hold on your brush, the looser your brush strokes will be. So if you're having a hard time loosening up, just take a hold of the back of your brush. It means you have less control, which will help things be a little bit looser. I don't love that one, but I think it'll turn out. All right, another little upside down one. And one more down here. And now I'm gonna add in the green. I'm gonna go back to just using this mixture that I had made, add a little bit more paint because I'll probably use quite a bit. Oops, got the wrong color there, but no big deal. All right. If you watched my leaf tutorial, um, you are just going to use the point of your brush and then press down and bring it up to create some big leaves. And let's see here. Actually, I see a flower all the way down here. 
So we're gonna add that in here shortly. That's my brush. And let's try this. There we go. I kind of like that one. Back to the flowers. There's larger and there's smaller leaves. So I'm trying to do both. And actually, I'm going to take some of this puddle and I'm going to add some Payne's Gray to it to get more of a blue color. Um, just to add some visual interest, depth and interest. <clears throat> um, and I see there's one more brown one over here, so I'm going to add that one in pretty big. Okay, moving on to the left side. Let's see here. I may have added too much green there. Ooh! This new palette, I'm having a hard time remembering where all my paints are. So I'm like getting the wrong one. But it's okay. Honestly, adding different shades just brings so much like depth and visual interest to your painting. So don't be afraid to mix colors together, even if it's an accident. Again, I'm trying to be loose with my brush, and I'm having a hard time. It's um, what I need. My favorite way of painting is pretty loose. Nothing structured. I don't do a ton of layers. Um, I like just quick and simple, beautiful, modern looking, simplistic painting. Okay, I feel like it needs a little bit more. Let's see here, I'm thinking this through. I think I'm gonna add a flower down here. Yep, on this side. Rinse my brush well. Get some pink, blush pink. Hot pressed paper can sometimes be a pickle. If you can see here, it's kind of beading on my paper which shows me that I've been touching it with my hands, even though I have no lotion on my hands or anything. It's just the oils from my skin getting on the paper and then the watercolor will resist it there. But you shouldn't notice that after it's dry. Um, I really like what's going on over here. I'm gonna try to add some over there. Although I feel like I'm painting over that one because I love this side, but I'm struggling with this side, so we're going to see what we can do to bring some life. Big magnolia leaves. And I'm going to add, when I paint, I tend to kind of be all over the place. When I'm painting, I don't just focus on one single color at a time, so I'm going to add some more color to this pot here. I think that's what's kind of messing with me here. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of a shadow under the pot. Towel can do wonders with cleaning up an area. Okay, I really like it. 
I think I'm gonna add some splatters to it. Mm, it's easier. And as you can tell, I ended up only using my round brush eight. Round size eight brush. Um, that was using the pink color. I'm gonna try to use this green one. Oh yeah, I like that. Even though I got some on my book. And up here. Okay. I think we're gonna call it a day.